Hello and welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve a problem set for Bitcoin price index. So in this problem we are expecting the user to specify as a command line argument the number of Bitcoins that they would like to buy. If that argument cannot be converted to a float the program should exit uh, with system.exit with an error message and this is where we will get uh, the price of Bitcoin from and uh, we will use uh, the requests module uh, to get the information from this uh, from this link so let's import uh, requests and let's also import sys for the command line arguments and let's first check if the user uh, doesn't input com a command line argument so if length if it's not equal to, to 1 we will exit with a message um, missing line and otherwise uh, we want to take we want to get the information in this uh, link so uh, we also want to uh, put it in a variable let's call it request and uh, requests dot get and let's just copy this link here so this variable will store the information in this uh, link so if you want to see this information let's print out a request so and we have to put a command line argument in order to enter this block of code Okay. Oh uh, yeah, this should be equal to two because the name of the file counts as uh, one command line argument. So this should work now. Okay, so this is the information we are getting from this uh, line of code. So we want to access uh, the price uh, of uh, the Bitcoin and. Um, yeah yeah there it is it is this uh, value so it's a bit complicated if you look at the information like uh, that so there is a way to clean uh, this data but we're going to use another uh, module called uh, JSON and and let's write uh, this code so there is a, fu a function called the JSON, and we are going to pass in. Okay, we are going to uh, access a method called uh, dump s dump string. I'm going to pass in uh, request dot JSON, and indent equal to two. So this should be cleaner with uh, this code so let's try again so yeah now we can really look at the data and see how our, we are going to access uh, the price of the bitcoin so let's start from the top so this is the first key and uh, this is uh, uh, the value so let's move on to the second key that's the value the third key and that's the value and the fourth key which we're going to use to access the uh, usd then the rate so first we want to access the value of this key then we want to access the value of this key then we want to access the value of this key 
because each value here is an object so we can uh, always uh, get the key of uh, the value of uh, this key or this key okay let's uh, let's let's write the code for this so let's make a variable called price for example and it's going to be equal to uh, the request dot json or let, let's actually put the request dot json in another variable called data for example and here we are, we are actually accessing the this object this dictionary I mean so the first thing we want to access is is the the time uh, key so data then time as a key so here we have the value this value okay we don't actually need to uh, access this key we want to access the bpi key so yeah that was a mistake so yeah now we have this dictionary after this line of code we have this dictionary so we want to access the key usd usd and this also uh, brings us another dictionary with a key called rate which we want its value so the key here will be rate and this sh should output us the the price of the bitcoin so let's let's test print price we actually don't need to print this anymore so yeah it prints out the price of the bitcoin and let's check if that's uh, the same so yeah yeah here it's the same as in the data so this works so now we have the price of the bitcoin but we want to remove this comma because we will use we want to use this uh, uh, this number as a, an, a float so if the user inputs two for example two bitcoins we want to multiply this price so if we didn't remove this uh, uh, comma we will get an error so for example price multiplied two or anything we will get an error or not an error but it's not what you want this is a string and uh, when we multiply a string uh, by an integer it repeats so that's not what we want to do and if we tried to force it to be a float you will get an error yeah because you can't, can't convert this comma so let's actually remove this comma with code like this price dot replace and we want to replace the comma with nothing and now let's try again let's multiply two it's also not working yeah but because the price is still a, a string so let's convert it to a float it's also not working yeah because we didn't uh, assign it to a variable so let's try this price so we are going to overwrite the price so now this should work <laughs> i believe okay finally so there is one step missing we want to add a dollar sign before the number and format it uh, uh, to, be, to be a comma between every three numbers or something like that okay let's do this now but first let's actually handle uh, the, the, the input or not the input the command line argument you are getting from the user so you want to make sure that it's a float and not a string for example not a cat not a dog 
so let's uh, try use try and accept for this one so let's add a line here and try and uh, and let's type float sys.argv1 so if the user inputs if the user's argv is a string cat for example uh, an error will be raised here because you can you can't convert a string to a float so and our exception will be value error and if that's the case we want to exit with a message command line argument is not a number so what's next okay let's actually try uh, if this is work, if this is working, before we move on, so let's try for this one, cat. Okay, now it's working. If we try um, two point five, this should work. Okay, it's working and uh, it's printing out the price of two and a half bitcoins. So let's move on to the format of the price. And let's also edit this print function. We want to multiply by the uh, command line argument that the user uh, provided. So let's first uh, put how we format in the the price. So we are going to use if string. And the first thing we want to uh, put in our string is a dollar sign. Then let's and here we should. Uh, uh, provide a variable but for now let's move on so this is the format for if okay we will we will actually not uh, provide a, 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 a variable from here we will multiply a variable by the sys.argv so float the price Multiplied float sys dot org v one. So this now should uh, work with the right format. If you feel there's too much happening here, you can uh, put this line of code here. So price is going to be equal this. Okay. And we can remove it from here and just put uh, the price variable. So now let's test. Okay, let's open a terminal. Bitcoin. Let's test on one only one Bitcoin. So yeah, now we have the dollar sign and the comma. So let's try two Bitcoins. Okay, let's try 2.5. Okay, this is working. Let's see if there is any different examples in the problem. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, now, yeah, we tried all the examples, so... So our program now is ready to go. And uh, before we end, uh, I want to explain this line more. The reason we are also, uh, if that's confusing, okay, let me just edit on this line of code. So you can do each one uh, separately. So let's move this or comment. Okay, let's make this variable called BPI. So now this variable is an object, is an uh, dictionary. So we want to access. Uh, let's call this USD, and we want to access the key USD in this dictionary. So this also gives us a dictionary. So let's call this one price, and it's going to be equal the value of this key here, which is rate, as we saw in the. Uh, in the dictionary before so now this is the same as 
we did before in this line of code. So I just wanted to make this a bit more clean. You can do whatever you want. I think the, uh, the first one was better, but uh, it's okay for both of them. And let's test if this is working. So let's open a terminal. okay it's also working so yeah there's no difference between them so pick what you like and that was the end of the video thank you for watching and see you next time